and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm going to be performing on my Ariel Silk's Dead Mom from Beetlejuice the Musical. Smith and I'm going to be talking about organization. So organization is very important in our society. We use it to plan trips, make recipes, and do schoolwork, and make a song. And I have one in front of me. So organization goes with the song because you have to start with the most important part of the song, which is the melody, and work your way down. So here we go. And as you can hear, the melody carries a part for the whole song. And here come the harmonies. And the harmonies go with the melody, which give it a nice blend. And the bass. And the bass carries the low part for the song. And here come the drums. And the drums carries the tempo for the whole song. And here comes the guitar. And the guitar is like an add-on to the song. Now, I don't have a daily plan, 
but organization can help you um, complete your daily tasks. Um, and if we work together, we can make the most of every opportunity. Thank you for letting me share my presentation. Again, my name is Kenson Smith. Hey everybody, my name is Carson and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the firecracker soda. For your ingredients, you're just gonna need some ice, grenadine, Kool-Aid, you're gonna need some ginger ale or Sprite, some water, and of course your bomb pops. And so, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ice and we're going to pour that into our glass right there. Now once we poured, uh, we've poured our ice into the glass, we're gonna take our one and only bomb pops and we're just going to slide these into the glass. Make sure they're sticking up with the stick on top. We're just gonna the second one. There we go. We're gonna just stick that one right in there. And so once we've done that, we're going to get our second glass and we are going to pour our Kool-Aid in just to get that ready. Pour your Kool-Aid in, and we're gonna get some water, and fill it up about all the way. It doesn't really matter, it's your choice. So once we're done with that, it's gonna, it's already pretty much stirred up, so we're done with that. And so now we're gonna take our grenadine and we're going to pour in some of the grenadine about just a little bit so it doesn't wreck the whole drink. But once you've done that, you can take your ginger ale and you can just easily just pour that right there. Just leaving a good amount of room for your blue Kool-Aid. So once you're done pouring your ginger ale and your grenadine, you can just take your Kool-Aid, fill the rest up. It's okay if you spill a little bit, you should be able to clean it all up. It's pretty easy, it's a pretty easy you know, drink. And yeah, there you go, your red, white, and blue firework bomb pop soda. And that's all. So, see you guys later. Another thing you can do while you're on summer break is make make music because like currently I'm making music and it's like different styles of music. I'm going to show you something that I have been working on for a little bit. First, I added a lo-fi beat crackle and then the second thing is a lo-fi beat key. And the third thing is a vocal FX. So I'm just gonna put a sample of that. Like that, that's a vocal FX. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a actual beat, a actual lo-fi beat. And you can make your own like loops sometimes chop it up if you want and i can put it at the section i want it to be in now time to hear the final product like it starts off slow and that's what i like about lo-fi and the beats come in That's something that you can do over the break that you have for like two months, who knows how long. Hey guys, my name is Jalen. So as we know, we're gonna be talking about how we can be fair and how we can play by the rules. So today I have my handy dandy backpack with a bunch of very cool items. So the first thing in here is my Batman action figure. So say you're playing with your friends and your favorite superhero is Batman 
and your friend's favorite superhero is Batman 2. And so what I can say is that you can just share and take turns and have a lot of fun. Another really cool thing I have in here is a doll. So say this doll has the prettiest dress, has the longest hair, and is a queen over all the land. And she's your favorite, but it's your friend's favorite too. You can take turns and have fun playing with it and just try different characters and make up a story. I have one final thing and it is a video game. I'm gonna turn this one over to my brother Donovan and he's gonna share a little bit about this. So if you play a video game and your friend likes a, nut, a character and then your favorite character is that character, just take turns playing with it and just don't cheat because it makes the game a lot more fun when you play by the rules. So another really important thing to remember is that we're being fair and we're being kind to people who are different than us and people who don't look like us and people who th sometimes they can't do the same things as us even. So it's really important to be fair to people like that. I even have to practice being fair to my brother sometimes like sharing the hammock. <laughs> Thank you for letting us do our segment today. Back to you, Tamara. <laughs> years ago I actually got diagnosed with cancer and this song sort of helped me keep my spirits up and always look positive. This song is called Today is Good and it kind of tells you to look on the sunny side of things. Woke up with bacon dripping in from the kitchen, pancakes bubbling on the griddle. Weather well, ain't too hot, it ain't too cold, it's that perfect right kind of middle. Radio going way back with a little Travis Tritt and fiddle. It's Jessica and today I want to talk to you about self-respect. We're going to dive into proper sleeping and a breathing exercise. So let's go. 
Part of self respecting yourself is caring for yourself. And to do that, you need to exercise, you need to eat well, and also you need the proper amount of sleep. And I know everybody says that you just need to sleep and go to bed, and it's hard just to put down your phone or put down the video game and go to bed. But if you get proper sleep, you will feel so much better and your body will be a lot more alert and it's healthier for your body as well. Just imagine your phone. If your phone is charged at 100%, it works properly and it's going and it's like, yay, it's working great. But what if it's charged at 14%? Then it's probably working slow, not doing great and it's flashing at you, charge me, charge me, charge me. Now, what if your body and you didn't get enough sleep and you're at 14%? Or would you rather wake up to the next day and be at 100% with all your sleep? Here, I have a little chart for you. Zoom in close. This is on how much sleep you should get every night. So it says from, I'm gonna give you a few examples here. It says from six to 13 year olds, you need nine to 11 hours of sleep. From 14 to 17 year olds, which is my category, you need to get eight to 10 hours of sleep. And from 26 to 64 year olds, you need seven to nine hours of sleep. And trust me, I am so guilty of not being able to pull down my phone and not getting the proper amount of sleep. But as you can see, it is super important. Now I wanna move on to our breathing exercise. And this is helpful to relax and help you actually go to sleep. So let's dive in, the breathing exercise. We all know how to breathe. Of course, we do it every day. That's what we do to live. It's vital to us as humans. But this exercise, like I was saying, it helps relax you. And I think this helps clear your body and your mind. I love doing it. Okay, so let me demonstrate. First, you gotta breathe in through your nose. Hold it. And breathe out through your mouth. So nose, hold, and then breathe out through your mouth. Now I want you to think of three numbers. So the first number is four, and then seven, and then eight. So you're gonna breathe in for four, hold for seven, then breathe out for eight. Okay, ready? Let's try it together. You gotta do it with me, okay? So let's breathe in for four. One, two, three, four. Good, good, good. Okay, now hold it for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great, we're almost there. Last step is just to breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. Now I like to repeat this three times, but you can do it a good handful of times if you want. And I like to do this every day. I just feel nice and clear and I love doing this exercise. Well, there's your sleeping tips and tricks and your sleeping info, and also a good breathing exercise to carry throughout your day. Stay awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Hi, my name is Michael Poe, and the symbol of forgiveness is Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was born on July 18, 1918, and sadly died December 5, 2013. Mandela is an activist and a civil rights hero. In 1944, he joined the African National Congress. They were a political group that strived for equal rights. After he was in prison for 27 years, he helped the people of the ANC end the apartheid, which further divided race. They did this in a secret group. After all of this, Mandela won the Nobel Peace Prize and became the first black president of South Africa. Then in 1999, Nelson retired from being president, but stayed a symbol of peace, equality, and forgiveness. He is a symbol of forgiveness because when released from prison, instead of seeking revenge and hatred from being tortured, he asked for forgiveness and reconciliation. People felt betrayed from this, but changed because of his exemplary response. Forgiveness is the action or process of forgiving or to be forgiven. And I drew a picture of Nelson Mandela and I wrote some quotes of people who forgave people. And this is it.
that we can never forgive. Forgiveness is only is the is the attribute of the strong Gandhi. Forgiveness liberates the soul and removes fear. That's why it's so powerful. Mandela. Resentment is like drinking poison and hoping it'll kill your enemies. Nelson Mandela. Only free men can negotiate. Prisoners cannot enter their contracts. Mandela. And it is in our hands to make a better world for all the people who live in it. Mandela. Bye. Hi, Tamara. Hi, everyone. This is Kateri. I'm a flute player, singer, songwriter here in Nashville. And really glad to be here today. Um, glad to talk about honesty. Such an important thing to talk about. Um, I wanted to share that something I've been thinking about in terms of honesty is how important it is to be honest with ourselves. And how we sometimes forget that. Like, oh, we have to be honest with others and um which is important but first we have to know how we feel about something and also being okay with how we feel knowing that it's okay to feel upset or frustrated or sad or worried sometimes um and knowing that it's okay to feel any of those things and once we know how we feel then we can open up and talk about it with others um so yeah i was thinking about that and Go to sleep tune. Where should I go? Honestly, living honest the best way to be. I promise in time you'll see it pays to be honest. But it pays to be honest 